Hello, and welcome to the Quick Flick Critic Reviews and Interviews. I'm your host, John Smithstad, and these are my takes on films both new and not so, spanning a wide range of genres and tastes, plus conversations with some of the coolest people in indie entertainment. Now, let us rock with this one, shall we? Lost in America, 1985, cross-country comedy. Lost in America is laugh-out-loud funny practically from start to finish. Director co-star Albert Brooks embraces a sense of humor that is right straight up my alley. He plays a poor guy whose life circumstances have completely overwhelmed him, typically not an especially humorous situation. But in the hands of a true comic genius, the performance personifies purely hysterical perfection. Brooks and Julie Haggerty play 80s L.A. dink yuppie couple David and Linda Howard. The prosperous professional pair have amassed enough liquidity to drop out of life and live each day as it comes as they drive across the USA in a fully loaded RV. It's David's idea of paying all chips in homage to the rebel bikers featured in his favorite film, Wait a Easy minute. Rider. Things start off fine for the Howards on a celebratory detour to Vegas to renew their wedding vows. But then a catastrophic event propels them on a series of misadventures throughout the American Southwest, all of which render me debilitated with helpless laughter, even now after repeated viewings. Granted, Lost in America may not be your cup of tea to the decided degree that it is mine, but with such divergent classic lines ranging from, oh, call security, to Brillo Pad Fathead, you are bound to hit upon more than just a few moments to stimulate your own funny bone. <laughs> Thanks for watching this episode of the Quick Flick Critic Reviews and Interviews. Now I ask that you please subscribe and be notified of my continuous new episode announcements. As always, make it a great day and make it count. Goodbye, everybody. Oh.